Hello and welcome! In this tutorial we are going to be creating a Python program that performs encryption. Our Python program will be creating a Caesar cipher text which is encrypted text to help us send secret messages. So this is by far the most advanced algorithm uh, we've tackled so far and so this is where we get into the most important uh, mindset that comes with programming. It is breaking down a complex problem into very simple subcomponents. And this is how we're going to do it. So we are first going to create an alphabet and then save a message from a user, save a shift from a user and create a dictionary that translates normal alphabet into the shifted alphabet. So if the shift was three, you know, it's going to say A semicolon D, which is a letter shifted by three. So let's get started. So first things first, um, I've actually just written in this alphabet. It's just a list of A, B, C, D, all the way through to Z. And next up, we need to record a message from a user and record a shift from a user. So this is, um, maybe I'll just print the alphabet to make sure it works. Bet. And we're going to print, uh, write the message you want to encrypt. Do, 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 do. Um, and then the message is saved as, I guess, I don't know what I'll call it, input text, input string, input string equals input, two, two. then we're going to What shift do you want to use? And then shift is going to be an integer conversion of the input. And I'm just going to load this in and make sure that all of these things work. So I'm just going to go into Python fundamentals. And I'm going to call this program Cypher Dictionary because it's sort of a halfway point. So the, the alphabet prints out. I just want to be sure A, B, C, D, F, G, H, J, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, V, W, X, Y, Z. What message do I want to encrypt? Hello, what's up? What shift do you want to use? Five. So now if I go input string, it's saved. And if I go shift, and we should have a six without quotation marks. So excellent. The first um, three parts of our program that are very straightforward are already done. So what's next? We need to create a dictionary that is converting from A to the shifted letter and so on and so on. So the, the first way we, the first thing we need to do to create a dictionary is just create a dictionary variable. And I'm just gonna go for trans alphabet, like translated alphabet and equals the curly braces. This is um, sort of a data type of dictionary. So if we go for square braces, we're going to get a list and if we go for the curly ones, um, we're going to get an alphabet. And now I need to go and enter, perhaps in a loop. So for each of the 26 letters, for I in range 0, 26, well, letter is going to be alpha bet i so just to confirm that at least our letter is correct because it's kind of important we can actually run this 
and A, B, C, D, E, F, G. Good. So that's that's the sort of first part of our um, dictionary. So now what we got to do is we need to go into the alphabet, trans alphabet, and square brackets letter. So what I'm doing here is I am actually doing this A. So now I'm going to assign a value. Uh, uh, so this is, I've, I've assigned already, this is an assignment. I've assigned A as the key of the alphabet. Now I'm going to assign a value. And before we figure out this whole shift, I just want to assign even a value of, of A, perhaps. So I'm just going to go equals to alphabet I. So hopefully, what I've achieved so far is, instead of printing that, forget that, we can just print the trans alphabet. And there's going to be something that we're going to see, even if it's correct, something a little bit annoying. Okay, write a message to encrypt, doesn't matter what it is, shift 5, as you can see, we've achieved exactly what we wanted w is w l is l everything is good except annoyingly um there is no sequence here um so maybe we can print it in in sequence maybe here we can print um okay we're gonna print So when we actually print this, we are referring to the value. We are referring to the second. So this is the second. So first we're going to uh, print alphabet I, I guess. Bet I. And all of this printing is simply there, not to perform the function of the program, but just to guide us that we are on track. So printing that I'm doing here, all of this printing is testing. It's not something that we'll use in the final program. In fact, I'm pro I'll probably be deleting all of these lines of code. But testing is key. So just to be sure that this is what we have, pum pum plus uh, trans alphabet letter. So this is the value, should work, F5. Okay, message, we just give him a letter, Shift 5, that's it. So this is our dictionary, and now we're, we're effectively printing it. And here is a confirmation that, you know, W is W. Now let's work on this shift. So instead of saying A is A, A should be perhaps B, C. Let's try a shift of 2. So A should be C, but we're going to go plus shift here. And yeah, we're going to enter a shift of two and execute this program. And we're going to see what happens. Okay. Hello, friend. Two. And we have an error. So A is C, B is D, but when we get to x equals to z the index becomes out of range and there is a there are two ways to solve this problem there is we could have done a negative shift so a um a shift of plus three is the same as a shift of minus 23 um, I'll just print it out once. You're going to see it's going to work perfectly, but that's sort of confusing. As long as actually I, I opt for the shift three, you're going to see. Write a message. Hello, friend. So 
So yeah, if the, with the shift of three, A will become D, and everything works. But this is not really ideal. Now, how do we prevent it from going out of range? Well, one one thing is we could just say the first twenty letters, and then we can just say I plus shift and as long as our shift is less than six then we're gonna have a partial partially correct dictionary i just want to show you that this works okay so if we if we take five we have a perfect dictionary and if we want to double check that everything is cool here e becomes j and here e becomes j so the dictionary is correct but how do we get rid of this range problem well if we divide, if we just take the remainder of I plus shift and the remainder of that divided by 26. So this percentage sign is the remainder of I plus shift divided by 26. Here's what happens though. So initially the shift is, initially this value is just the shift. So let's say it's five. So five divided by 26 remainder of is five. Ta, 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 ta. So, you know, when it's seven, it's still seven. So these values stay the same all the way up until 26. At 26, the remainder is zero. So we, on the 26th, when I plus shift is 26, so when, you know, we have the 21st letter or whatever, it is going to go back to the beginning. Because when it has like 28 divided by 26, the remainder is 2. So effectively, what, what you're going to have is uh, this position is going to go 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. And it's going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So I think this is going to work perfectly. And when we run it, I'll do something different. I hope this works not that this message is going to get translated yet but the dictionary should be correct so i'm going to go pick five and here we go g will become l so g here we see g h i j k l perfect so g should become l and this is how we should check it and g should become l so here we are. We have successfully created a ciphertext translation dictionary and we have printed it. So what we're going to need to use in the program is actually only the loop lines of code. So these three lines are probably the most advanced three lines of code we've done yet. I suggest that you play around with it, that you print different things. Um, they're very, very powerful. Conversely, the more powerful the uh, commands are, the harder they are to understand sometimes. Okay, so now we have the alphabet. In the next tutorial, we're going to learn to use this dictionary with the translated alphabet to encrypt our messages. All right, you got to the end and you may be wondering where can you get the file or a PDF document of the same tutorial. Don't worry, the link is right under the video, which will take you to this page. The whole Python fundamentals course, it is free. And you enroll, you enter, I don't know, we can, I created a, a Gmail account, aussiejoblow at gmail.com. Got a password. And agree to the term, sign up. It could be this easy, I think. And there you are. In pick a tutorial. It'll see the same you'll see the same tutorial as it is on YouTube, and you will have a PDF document that goes with and a downloadable file. So enjoy that and see you later.